feel a bit bad. I mean, right at the end, the, the, the Bilderberg staff, you may have seen this photo, were lining up um, to, to have their final, you know, kind of souvenir snap. And just at that moment, up, up, up walks, uh, you know, Luke Radowski and, uh, with, a, with a camera and um, uh, then some people from We Are Change or what have you and sort of t- taking their photo, getting their own souvenir. And, you know, I just felt like, I've almost felt sorry for them at that point because, you know, it was the amount of pressure that was put on them from outside, the amount of pressure to have this story break has been has been considerable this year. And I think it's... But our source confirmed that they were rooting for you, myself, and others inside watching us on video feeds, that the staff actually loved it. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously they've been, uh, they've been given the three-line whip to, to, to stay quiet, but, you know, some of them don't stay quiet, and some of them have been talking. And uh, it's very interesting the stuff you can pick up, i tell you that much. Well, this is absolutely incredible. We're going to break, Charlie, here in a minute or two. When we come back, I'm going to give you the floor on your big Mitt Romney story. But uh, other tidbits you're going to be covering when we come back. Oh, yeah. I've got, well, just some, a few little bits and bobs just from the staff. A little bit of, it's just interesting at getting a little bit of color uh, from inside, you know, just to give you a, I mean, I can't believe we're reduced to this. But, you know, I have got some, some you know, little, little things which are interesting. You know, nothing. Obviously, there's the Romney story, which... You know, I think it is big, and it's been picked, you know, starting to be picked up. There's a guy, uh, Kenneth Vogel from Politico.com, who's, tweet, who's just tweeted it. So it's now sort of, you know, the mainstream is sniffing around it. Well, I have sources high up in the media, and they say that Romney's people told him a week ago he was not going to be attending. At, well, really, two weeks ago, and then again a week ago. Uh, and so if they are lying to even media that's been quasi-friendly to them, that is really a bad move. Yeah, I mean, obviously, now this, uh, you know, I mean, this story does depend upon the the the, uh, uh, the eyewitness accounts, but, I, you know, I, these are four eyewitnesses, four separate people, three of whom... No, 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 they've proven very accurate in the past. Uh, these, uh, absolutely, and I've got more people I've got to run down. Stay there, Charlie Skelton, straight ahead, big story, Mitt Romney, Bilderberg 2012, he's with The Guardian, Google his names, Charlie Skelton. This is... I feel like an astronaut or something. They've got me running two Skypes, a, a Comrex. I'm, I'm texting to communicate with them. I mean, actually, an astronaut, that's about 100 times harder. But I tell you, I'm getting to where I just don't blow up like I used to. I'm kind of getting used to this. I love going on the road, Richard. And now that we can just drive while we do it, <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, Charlie Skelton, we salute his work in the last four or five years covering Bilderberg. Uh, He's come a long way from first reporting on it to see if it was even real, to being arrested, detained, harassed, going down the rabbit hole. He just got back to Britannia, back to Airstrip 1 last night to the U.K., got a few hours sleep and is joining us. He's got big breaking news. He got a bunch of sources inside. He handed out... All right. I think once again, we've had another little glitch. Um, We were talking to him all during break, too, and that was coming coming loud and clear um Uh, all right here he goes go ahead alex go ahead uh we're back again hurtling down the road here uh he has sources inside four sources mitt romney inside Uh, obama said he wasn't in bilderberg four years ago now they admit it so this is big also mitch daniels but the bilderberg group likes that doesn't mean absolutely it's going to happen but bill clinton tony blair george w bush george herbert walker bush excuse me Charlie Skelton of the London Guardian, you've got the floor. Give us the data dump of what's in your article, other little tidbits that aren't in the big Guardian story uh, going viral right now, Mitt Romney at Bilderberg 2012. Before I give you our big data, and we've got the documents, the 1966 minutes of the meeting. Uh, So Charlie Skelton, London Guardian. Well, I'm very excited about the 1966 minutes, but I'm just going to say that, yeah, we... We were there in the hotel after the uh, after the event, uh, as it kind of winds down. You know, it's a it's a big event, takes a lot of organisation. So there's a you know there's a lot of people still milling around. Anyway, we spoke to you know just had a chat. We had a chat to some of the hotel staff, and uh, and I've got four eyewitnesses that placed Mitt Romney inside the hotel during Bilderberg, and um, three of the, I want to just point this out that three of those eyewitnesses also confirmed uh, Bill Gates. Uh, and that's also been confirmed by the Washington Post as well, who saw him, and a lot of, a lot of activists saw him come out. So, um, so anyway, so you know, take that for what it, for, for what you know, with as much 
for, for, for as much seriousness as you want. I mean, I think, I believe them. I said, you know, are you sure? Well, he was wasn't Romney? on the list. He... And, they, and they said, uh, yep, they said, yep, he was it. It was Mitt Romney. So, you know, I, I had it confirmed four times. And, um, and yeah, they're not on the list. So, as I said in my piece, I mean, can we can we just stop talking about this list as if it's the be-all and end-all? Yes, it's it's very interesting, and it tells you pretty much most of the people who are there. But there's always people they bring in, you know, from the outside who just, you know, who don't want to be on the list. Charlie. Charlie, that's a fabulous point you make, that you've usually got about 125, 130 uh, that are on the list, but there's usually 20, 30, 40, sometimes even 50 who aren't, and they're the most important, Chinese ambassadors, Obama, Hillary. And yes, I saw Bill Gates, uh, couldn't get the, it snapped properly because I was busy bullhorning. Uh, uh, many others. Uh, I, I saw Kissinger. We did get a photo of him. But but Gates and Romney both were not on the list, but we know Gates was there because the Washington Post has now been blown. They've always been there since 54. They now have to admit uh, that people like Charles Krauthammer and others have been there, and they were indeed there, and Gates was there. Uh, so just amazing information where, where now even the globalists are scooping themselves because the alternative media, forced by the DrudgeReport.com, London Guardian, and others. I've got to say, the Drudge Report, London Guardian, Washington Times, you guys, even more than Infowars.com and the protesters, finally rammed the door down. But but please continue. Yeah, well, I, I'm just, how pleased was I when my editor at The Guardian sent, sent another journalist, you know, a journalist from Washington to turn up as well. And, you know, he went through a similar, you know, he didn't really know much about Bilderberg. He turned up, you know, three days later, you know, he's coming up to speed on this whole thing. And you can, he went through his own kind of super fast education, you know, because there's so many, you go there and it's the whole thing is an education. I mean, it, it was extraordinary. It's people like you or Webster Tarpley just standing around outside, you know, people that know a lot of stuff, you know, about this. So it was an amazing kind of information sharing. And, you know, we met some really incredible people. As usual, every time we go to Bilderberg, we meet, you know, people who are incredibly switched on, incredibly uh, up to speed with their, with their global politics and their global history. And, you know, it's just, it's, just a, it's just a joy to spend time around those people for a week. I tell you what's not a joy, though. You're spending time in a, It had a very, you know, it was a warm energy outside, but also there's a dark energy to Chantilly. You know, this thing is surrounded by these vast, shiny arms companies. And, you know, you go inside and, and you sit in the hotel and you just listen to people from NASA or people from, you know, uh, General Dynamics just talking about the sort of military contracts that are being, you know, divided up, 30 million here whatever, and, you know, and they say, oh, yes, he left the army and went to L3, and then he's back at CACI, and it's just this, this, this vast whirlpool, whirlpool of, of, of bad money, sloshing, of infinitely large money, sloshing around this, uh, the, the venue today. It's, it's a very strange, you know, last year it was up in the Alps, it was beautiful, you could stare at the mountains, this year you could stare at the front of General Dynamics. So, yeah. Um, and a giant... NSA substation and a giant NSA substation. Now, now, give us more about the Mitt Romney. What this means specifically? What your sources said to you? The little, the little tidbits, the little giblets. <laughs> the little giblets. Well, I mean, the thing, the main thing. I just, I just wanted that confirmed, and uh, because you know, it's very difficult. Because then, then you have to speculate. And people say, "Well, look, okay, you just, you know, what are you doing? Theorizing?" Yeah, of course we are. You know, we've got our best. We've, we've, we've dug in. We've got our best bit of information. That's, a, you know. That's as good as a piece of information as you can get. So now, now you have to speculate. You know that Governor um, uh, Daniels was there. And, you know, that makes you... You know, that's what uh, Webster Tarpley was saying. He thinks that they, they want a, a, um, uh, a Romney-Daniels ticket. Um, but, you know, it rather depends upon how, you know, Mitt, uh, Mitt Romney went down at dinner. You know, did he, did he perform well? Did he say the right things? Did he shake the right hand? You know, I mean, I, I, we'll see, you know, obviously time will tell. That's what we've gotten. In fact, if we can move the next guest to 40 after, I've got to get all the data that Charlie can give us. Well, but I've got to have Aaron brief him as well on this U.S. Senator's notes, he's still alive, from his private lar library in the National Archives, smuggled out to us with never distribute, never publish, restricted, copyright all over it. Hey, you're at a meeting making policy, buddy. We're releasing all this. And, and, and this is big because it shows him uh, writing notes saying, you know, on the uh, uh, meetings documents. Oh, thank you, sirs, for for teaching me. And it's it's the wise men and the rest of it. We're going to get to that after the break. But 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 Charlie Skelton, 
What else can you tell us about Mitt Romney there and what else your sources told you about calling us cockroaches? Because my sources confirmed that, that that was our name that, that they gave us, but that, but that also they didn't give people tips and they were, and that, and they were very, very angry that the Bilderberg Group was particularly surly. Yeah, we heard also that the Bilderberg Group were bugging the, um, this is from the staff, were bugging the staff phone. Uh, we also, it's very interesting, I mean, I, this is this I don't know, I spoke to a lot of um, the people who uh, cleaned the rooms, and every, all of them were on vacation, it, turned, it seemed. I couldn't find one that was working at the weekend. So I get the sense that uh, they, clean, they, they get rid of the cleaners, because they don't want people going into their rooms, and they bring in their own, which is slightly bizarre, but it's an interesting bit of, if it's true, which I think, you know, my, my straw poll suggested it was. Uh, that's an interesting, you know, a little, a little bit of backstory for, for how it all works. Um, but, yeah, no, it's interesting. You could, we could see things like Niall Ferguson, the historian, the guy who's, you know, Kissinger's official biographer, very much one of them, uh, you know, coming out with a copy of Cheng Li's book on China, Cheng Li, the Brookings Institute, who is there. So, you know, they've been discussing China. China's, the, the Chinese delegates are there uh, again this year, uh, being bussed in. Um, so... Yeah, it's, it's it's you know we're getting a sort of uh, a little bit of um, a little bit of a little bit of the sense of what they're discussing. Obviously, we have to piece this together, you know, with what we can. But um, it's just it was just so great to see people pushing so many different sides. You know, people like uh, Press for Truth or uh, We Are Change and you know Infowars and everyone just sort of knocking on the door. And, and the more you push, the more you hear. You know, the more you pick up. So you know, stuff like the cockroaches thing, which I was genuinely quite shocked when I heard it. But, you know, the guy, there was a, a, a guy there, Sky Adams, who's a um, live streamer, who just said, you know what, they're calling us cockroaches. Well, we're indestructible. And the cockroaches, you can't get rid of them. They keep coming back. So, you know, there's a spin there. Oh, hello? Uh, can you hear me now, Charlie? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, Fantastic. No, 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 you were there. Fantastic points. I want to confirm that four years ago when I was inside for days before they kicked us out, and this year I confirmed, we even had dinner with some of the staff, I'll just leave it at that, very late at night, that they told the staff your phones are tapped, and they had NSA and private contractors, and I've witnessed this with my own eyes four years ago, in there listening to people in the hotel from the site. And that's why they like it, is because they can bring in all the NSA people on the scene. And we had our cell phones running down double time. That's how you know, too, when they're tapping your phone. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the, people, one of the people also at the hotel, I mean, I'm not going to say which people, but, you know, because I don't want them losing their job. But one of them said, uh, we got chatting, and he was saying, yeah, there's, uh, you know, two to two, three hundred security inside the hotel. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very, very high-tech, highly staffed uh, security operation. Um, and I'll tell you what, one little interesting thing. We, late, on the, late on the Sunday... We were just standing at the back gate, and this, this um, uh, uh, you know, an SUV, a dark windowed SUV, and a huge um, coach comes out, uh, just blasts out of the back door, a big black tinted coach. And we looked at the company that ran the coach, and it's an entertainment company. So I think the act, I think they had a, I think they had some entertainment. Somebody, somebody sang at their supper. I, I don't know who, but um, I'd be curious to know. You know yeah, they do that. I saw that big. Sorry? Absolutely, I saw that big black. I saw the big black bus or coach uh, that you were talking about uh, uh, back there. Continuing here, uh, what are some of the other tidbits uh, uh, concerning them being mean to the staff, not tipping them? Yeah, and also not talking to them. You know, uh, I, I I think they 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 keep a, they keep a distance. You know, they, I mean, yeah, they, you just said they don't even have their own. They have their own uh, cleaning stuff. So I don't. You know, I don't think they're a fun bunch. You know, I, I, I really don't get that sense. You know, it's a very serious event. People often talk about it as, you know, oh, they're just having a, a knees up. It's a bit of a jolly. And, you know, no, it's really not. It's a, it's a tightly scheduled conference for three days. You know, I want to ask, I want to ask a member of the mainstream news media to tell me. Stay there. No, nope. okay. We're going to cover when we come back. We're going to cover when we come back. I had tried. Um, yeah! All right. Charlie Skelton with us. About another 15 minutes or so. Very gracious to do that, London Guardian reporter. Charlie, this is a short segment. I want to come back and have Aaron brief you in the next. On our big breaking news, you're welcome to data mine. As soon as we get it back, we're going to scan them all in. We'll send them to you. We want to share this to the world. Uh, but, but any other tidbits in this short segment that people need to know about from Bilderberg uh, 2012 that are important? Uh, well, uh, gosh, the, well, I think the, the most important thing... Um, 
Oh, sorry, just to finish what I was saying last time, is, is try and, uh, is, I'd like people to name a, 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 an event, a political event that these people stay longer at. You know, they're here for three or four days. That's how important it is. You know, people don't spend, people like the head of Barclays or the Lord Chancellor don't spend that long at Christmas.